Good morning, folks. The sun has been putting on a gorgeous and benign display on the southeastern limb. As a sunspot group grows, it set off part of an incoming filament last night. The active region is mixing quickly and has become the dominant sunspot on the Earth side of the sun. It appears we have a delta-class region, so perhaps a flaring surge is on the horizon. We've already broken back into sea flare range after days of flatlined activity, and the culprit was indeed that incoming sunspot group. This morning's flare snapped the magnetic fields and produced a tiny CME. It was the only eruptive feature of note, and it should be small. The solar wind leveled out, and even though it is still slightly above average, our magnetic field likes the stability. QuakeWatch.net shows a moderate index occasionally bouncing up to elevated. This coronal hole is about the only space energy factor we have right now. The most interesting quake of the day was in Zamibia. We do not see many four-pointers in Colorado, and we had a potential earth spot rumble way above average here amidst a swarm in the Virgin Islands. This is one of three SVS animations featured today. This one is meant for the Earth Dome show in a 3D projection room like Omnimax and is mostly for show. But we also see a number of garbage tracking and virtual floater models showing interesting patterns of collection around the tropics of Cancer and Capricorn. There are even more animations on that page, but I didn't want to spoil them. Last is a water storage map showing where the water is plentiful in blue versus scarce in red. That leads us into our top articles, including one about how parts of California are sinking. As the drought continues, the groundwater is pumped. Ashes, ashes, we all fall down. Those who know me well know that I know peptides, and this article about peptide production via Comet is a double smile for this electric and plasma universe enthusiast. We also have an article about the tsunami threats in Ventura in Oxnard, California, slightly worse than you might have expected. And finally, we have a story about helium release for years prior to the Mount Ontake eruption. This is surely related to the other molecular and ion releases prior to seismic events on a shorter time scale. Here are the gorgeous West Pacific Earth spots. The typhoon's paths are set, and it's not as bad as it could have been. If these paths hold, the disaster will at least partially be averted. Danny in the Atlantic, going right at the Virgin Islands Earth spot swarm and near five pointer. The bad storms off the Great Lakes low and convergence will continue tonight when it gets to the coastal regions. Powerful low in the North Atlantic has a south swinging convergence too, taking our top watch there. And in Australia, the story is the same, but the convergence comes north because we're on the other side of the equator. Featured members page today is Humans and Electromagnetism, found under the premium button at suspiciousobservers.org. It's less than 60 days until observing the frontier. October is the best time to be in Pittsburgh. Then in January, it'll be a perfect time to spend a weekend in Phoenix. Links found below the video here on YouTube and at suspiciousobservers.org. We've got your current conditions and shots of our star to close. It's 6.25 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone. Thank <laughs> you.